All right, so now let's say we're going to give an, another try. Here's another example. And we want to find the perimeter of this semicircle. It, the circle, the semicircle has a diameter of 100. It's called the diameter because you're kind of pretending the entire circle is there, and in which case the diameter would be 100 centimeters. And uh, so what we've learned is the perimeter of this thing is pi times diameter. That would give us the entire circle. Uh, but then we're going to divide by 2 because we only want the semi-circle. But then we have to add in the diameter because otherwise we'd only be finding this curvy part. And we also need to include in our perimeter this straight line. Okay, so there's the formula. So now let's do it. And uh, in this case, let's use pi as 3.14 just to be different. Okay, so pi is 3.14. And then we're going to times by the diameter, which is 100. Then we're going to divide that by 2 because we only want half the circle. And then we're going to add in 100 because we want to include this diameter. And that's my phone, and we're going to ignore it right now. <laughs> okay, so now let's do it. So 3.14 times 100 is 314. That's pretty easy because you just move the decimal two places to the right because you're multiplying by 100. And then we're going to divide that by 2, and then we're going to add 100. So 314 divided by 2 is because I'm amazing at math. I could do that in my head. It's 157. Woo! And then we're going to add in 100, and we get 257 centimeters as our perimeter for this semicircle.